In this poll, where does Biden get his best marks? Where does he get positive marks from voters? These four areas. And you can see one in particular, the coronavirus, really stands out. Look at that. On that issue, Biden's approval rating is nearly 70 percent. Also, the economy, uniting the country and race relations, more approved than disapproved for Biden when it comes to those issues. What about the flip side? Where does he have a negative job approval rating? Well, it's on these issues, taxes and spending, China, guns. And at the bottom of the list here, again, look at this. Nearly 60 percent of voters say they disapprove of how the president has handled the border and immigration. Steve, how does President Biden stack up against previous presidents right at this point? Yeah, this is an interesting one. And, you know, we've been polling a particular question for a while here in the NBC poll. Let me give you a comparison. It asks folks after 100 days, rate the first 100 days. Would you say that Biden as president has gotten off to a great start or a good start? 44 percent of people say the first 100 days fall into that. A fair, poor, a fair start or a poor start, 55 percent say that. So that's the numbers for Biden. We asked the same question a hundred days into the Trump presidency four years ago. This is what it looked like back then. 35 percent said that Trump had gotten off to a greater good start. So Biden getting a better rating than Trump did. We also asked this question if you went back a hundred days into the Obama administration back in the spring of 09. And there you go. Obama was over 50 percent, 54 percent liked greater good, the start of his presidency. So it, Biden in between doing better than Trump did. But you look at Obama and if you look at some of his other modern predecessors, not at that level either, Shep. All right. Thanks very much, Steve Kornacki. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.